Hi there, my name is Shane Hayes and today we're going to be looking at the history of dystopian cinema and the evolution from Dr. Mabuse the Gambler by Fritz Lang to Robert Rodriguez's Alita Battle Angel. A dystopia is an imaginary community or society that is undesirable or frightening. For almost a hundred years, dystopian films have been a subgenre all their own. In 1922, Dr. Mabuse the Gambler by Fritz Lang became the first of these films. Fritz Lang quickly followed this up with his historic film Metropolis, which saw a man discovering the truth about his ideal city. Over the last 100 years, the ability to build dystopian worlds and tell great tales has evolved with filmmaking technology and socio-political issues in society. Dystopian films like Things to Come and When Worlds Collide were relatively few and far between until the 1960s. Ever since the 60s, the number of dystopian films produced each decade has grown exponentially. Fear of science and war fueled the rise in the number of dystopian films and their content. In The Time Machine, we see a man travel into the future only to find one race being raised by another savage race as livestock for food. The next year, The Day the Earth Caught Fire dealt with the perceived horrors and potential side effects of the nuclear arms race. Evolution, mutation, oppression, loss of moral values all become common themes in dystopian films. As the subgenre produced more and more films each decade, the storytelling technology evolved with the subject matter. Early films like The Last Man on Earth and Planet of the Apes used special effects and practical sets to add layers and complexity to the visual story. Films like THX 1138, Mad Max, and Blade Runner started pushing the envelope on sci-fi special effects and cinematography. The 80s and 90s saw a huge number of dystopian films take the screen and achieve box office and critical success. With new advances in special effects and the fledgling CG, incredible stories were made possible. Films like the Terminator series would not have been possible had they been attempted a decade earlier. Twelve Monkeys was a visual feast and one of the best examples of 1990s dystopian film. Even animated features like the legendary Akira covered the dystopian genre. The Matrix was a special effects and CGI groundbreaker that laid the groundwork for the next generation of sci-fi and dystopian cinema. The 2000s and 2010s saw more dystopian films made than any other time period. As sociopolitical issues became more pressing and society took a closer look at the degradation of society, films like District 9 and Snowpiercer became immensely important to the genre and defined the careers of filmmakers. Even young adult literature had evolved to talk about the dystopian futures, and the resulting films aimed at teens brought with them intense subject matter. Films like The Hunger Games... Divergent, and the Maze Runner series told frightening tales of the future for young adults and teens. Dystopian cinema has evolved with the times, allowing advances in filmmaking technology to provide new ways of telling stories. This technological evolution is also tied to the ever-evolving sociopolitical issues and ideas that shape these films. Tales of power, disease, class stratification, injustice, oppression, and disaster have become a genre all their own. As we wrap up, it's important to remember that dystopian cinema will continue to evolve, as things like COVID-19, systemic racism, and political injustice continue to be pervasive thoughts in the psyche of the audience. I personally believe the 2020s will likely see one of the largest groups of this type of content that has ever been. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you at the cinema.